yo, yo, once again, we're back. This is with Just a Messages Podcast. I'm Mo. I'm Mike. We got our boy Seth on the boards with us today. What's up? What's up with everybody, man? What's up with you, man? How you doing? Good to see y'all, fellas. Good to be back in the presence of you both. Doing good, man. Doing Glad good. Glad to have you, man. Glad to have you, man. How y'all doing, though, man? Can't complain, man. Weather feel good. It's a nice little 72 degrees outside. Oh, Feeling... it's 72 down there? Yeah, 72, man. Damn. Yeah, it feels gorgeous outside, man. Got the top <laughs> off. You know, little boppers are bopping. You know, Seth, you know, Seth got the show off a little TT, you know. Damn, the top. I just enjoy, <laughs> I just enjoy the little things. I work hard, bro. pop that top off quick, boy. You, you see it. <laughs> Hey, we hey we in mid November now. Thanksgiving next week. Word. <laughs> Nigga popped that top off quick when he saw seventy two. First thing oh, I thought shit. I just wanted, I walked out on the patio smoking that morning L. I said, Oh yeah, that top coming off today. <laughs> Damn. Well, How, man, how's feeling heard? in DC, man? Man, that's cold, man. It is, it's actually not as cold as I thought it was gonna be, but mm-hmm. I'm not even about to hold my breath because I know. December, January, February, it's finna go down. <laughs> like, I ain't even, you know, I'm gonna I'm actually enjoy this shit. It been like 61 yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how cold it is. It don't feel cold from, you know. Yeah. I cracked my window. It ain't really feel that cold, but. I be I be forgetting like November is still kind of partly fall because I be expecting like it to get cold but it really don't get cold especially down here till about January, bro. Mm-hmm. Like December be having like some seventy degree days yeah, down here. Thanksgiving about to be warm and be shit seventy five on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. I mean, we was just talking about DC last night, me and Mac, man. I need I wanted to try to slide up there, but I'm just too busy right now. Hey man, whenever y'all ready, I'm up here, man. I'm up here. My people's up there, so I mean, I'm gonna shoot up there eventually because it's the holiday. How long is that drive up there? That, to be honest with you, it's like, well, for a holiday drive, that shit'll end up being like nine or ten hours because it's shit packed. But normally, I get to DC from Charleston normally in like seven and a half. I got to Tampa in about seven and a half hours. Yeah, yeah it's about seven and a half eight. You know, I might have to fly up that bitch. Flying down that in the state. All you gotta do is just make sure you don't ride through uh, Virginia like that, cause Virginia bad about that shit, bro. Yeah, you Virginia boy. lock your ass up for speed. On. Yep, niggas don't bullshit in VA though. Niggas too. You know, I always you gotta. That's what actually slows me down. I can fly through the state through North Carolina as soon as you hit that VA line. Bro, what's the worst? What's what's the worst commute? What's the worst commute? Yeah, you would say Miami. You would say so. How long does it take to get Miami from Charleston driving? Ten? Like nine to ten hours. Yeah. Hell no, dog. You gotta fly yeah, down there. Flying. Yeah, you gotta fly. I mean, down. the flight is like what two hours? Because I get to here to New York in two an hour forty five, two hours. Yeah. Yeah. But driving down that bitch is long. Yeah, that driving nothing to play with. Especially in a car, like you fucking around, go stir crazy in that car. <laughs> yeah. You be sitting down, you be sitting down for too long. I tell you how, cause I'm, I'm crazy when it comes to driving, bro. So like, if I'm shooting some way, I'm not trying to sit down for like. I mean, I am, but I'm not trying to make too many stops because I want to get to my destination. You see what I'm saying? So like, I shut down the Tampa with no restroom break, bro. Oh, you different. Yeah. Seven and a half hours, yeah. bro. Ain't nobody gonna be able to say. Well, honestly, the, I did, the last time I came from DC, I did that. I was like, I went all the way through. I think I only had one bathroom break, only because I had to get gas. Oh no, anything plus eight now, I'm stopping for sure. But other yeah, than that, like I'm Atlanta, four. Atlanta's like a four hour drive, yeah, right? I'm, I'm not stopping. stopping. Oh yeah, Atlanta, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm not stopping. <laughs> you gotta shoot down this road, yeah. Yeah, we just like you just gotta hold that shit. Like we we stop. When we get in the A, my nigga, like, we're not stopping on no four hours. No, hell no. So, but you'll stop anything more than four? Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I be, I be drinking water and shit. Like, you never know, man. Like, I'm yeah. not about to hold no, no piss for four plus hours, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Nah, I feel you. Some niggas that took some crazy drive. I met my nigga Mike. Shout out to Mike. He's saying uh, Nevada now. This nigga drove from New York to Nevada now. Oh, hell. This nigga was taking pictures at every different stop. Like, this been like a, uh, what they call it? Like, the epic road trips and shit. Yeah. I said, nigga, you drove? He's like, bro, I had to get my cars over here somehow. I'm like, I feel you, dog. 
But God damn. Awesome. This nigga drove from like Long Island, New York to Nevada. Hell, this nigga changed three time zones. Facts. Driving now, we ain't even talking about flying. Yeah, <laughs> so like you change time zones. I, I do want to drive across country one day, but I mean, that's different. But that's if I just got free time. I'm talking about like if it's a necessity, yeah, hell no. I somebody to, to haul my car, bro. I'm not. Because you can't really enjoy nothing if you if you drive it from one destination to another destination. Now, if you're doing some cross, like you say, like on some like road trip type shit, that's different because you can stop and see different shit. But if I know I got to go somewhere, oh, hell no. I don't even know how long that drive is. That got to be on some 15, 13 hours type shit. Nah, way longer than that. Yeah, nah, you're right. Way longer than that, Long Island in Nevada is going to take you at least two and a half days, bro. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like, 48. We talking about 48? <laughs> I'm telling you. I remember, I remember Reggie told me he drove from here, uh, goddamn, all the way up to, to Seattle. They was, on, it was, they was oh, in them van for like no. three days. So shit. I know that was like two and a half, almost three days. Yeah. That's crazy. I couldn't do that, bro. You start seeing shit on in them cars after a while. Yep, nigga, you start seeing shit on the road, nigga. Niggas who be on them. You know, when I used to drive long period of time late at night, shit, you start seeing all kind of crazy shit. Your mind just make you delirious. So listen, yeah, I, I, I don't got time I'm for no shit. I ain't got time for no shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. I, I just can't. I don't got time for it, man. Yeah. And you gotta ride with the thing on you too now, so it's like you gotta worry about cops probably stopping you for some bullshit. Yeah, I ain't got I ain't got time to do that shit. So you get into this shit, man. Um, any of y'all got a chance to check out Kevin Hart stand up on Netflix? I didn't watch it yet. I watched it. What you think, man? Let's get into this shit, man. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I was laughing like the first like the little first fifteen minutes. And then after that, it was like, I was on Twitter and I forgot that shit was even on my on my TV, man. I'm not even going to lie. Like, <laughs> well, shit, this shit must be reversed for you because they can say they would sleep first 10 minutes in that bitch. No, nah, I was laughing when he was talking about, uh, man, what did he say? Like, <laughs> he was just talking about how he, how he dealt with COVID and how he found out he had it and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, some of that, some of that dialogue was funny to me, but after that... A nigga forgot that shit was gone, man. Like, if it wasn't for my phone, I probably would have fell asleep after the first 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, I don't know. I, I guess, like, you know, that his brand of comedy just not for us no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he just got to experience life a little bit more. I remember Tariq, Tariq Nasheed has said something about it. And, you know, he kind of got in his feelings. But Tariq had also retweeted and was like, it just seemed like you was walking. You know, like on eggshells, you might you might be scared of facing backlash. You can't be too edgy. Like that's what it just seemed yeah, like. It just it just seemed like his content. And I'm not saying nothing wrong with talking about his family and nothing like that. But it's like, bro, like experience life. Like there's nothing else that you can pick up on. You see what I'm saying? Like, cause comedy is just some real shit. You know, we were talking about this shit in a group chat last night, and it's just like it seemed like Kevin just like. Like when he was even talking about like his like his older hoes and shit like that, like that shit was kind of cringeworthy. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like it was force fed. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. He just got to get back in his. Shit just wasn't hitting, man. No, it wasn't. And you already know, like people know, I'm not a big Dave Chappelle fan at all. Like I'm not really big Dave, but Dave gets off by just being real. You see what I'm saying? Like he just shit just real. Like Dave Chappelle don't gotta be overly animated and shit like that and. He could just sit and do a set and he just can talk and that shit just be entertaining for a lot of people. Well, with Kevin, is like, I feel like the movie's been saving him for the last four or five years, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, shit, that's why if you, if you really think about he's it. He's not really a comedian know, to me. He's, he's, his, his stand-ups has lately been few and far between. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's. I'm not saying like you know he's relying on the movies, but it, in the way he is kind of relying on the movies because you know without the without the movies like he would be doing way more stand up and you know it's kind of a double edged sword of saying that because if he was doing more stand up maybe maybe he would be a little better at his craft right now. You know, you you know what I'm trying to say like I just yeah you're right. I don't know, man. Like it's kind of it's kind of toss up with Kevin Hart, man. I don't know how to really put it, man. But I just I know as of now that shit not hitting. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's not hitting. It's not even on no hate and shit. Like, I, want, I wanted to go into that shit and, like, you know, laughing at it or whatnot. Like, I didn't go into it with no bias. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you know, he kind of lost me on that one. It really wasn't, you know, it wasn't hitting on nothing. Bro, like, I just, like, man, I just feel like he just needs some more, some new life experiences. That's what I feel like it is. And remember now, when they had the promo for his last one, remember when they had the thing, dude, I don't know if, it was like a trailer, and the dude was like, I think, no, this was the one about his documentary. Remember the, remember when he dropped the documentary last year, or early this year, one of the two? Yeah, when after the car crash and shit. Yeah, and, it was, and that was real good, actually. I enjoyed yeah, that. that was good. That yeah, was that was good. real good. That was real good. And remember the dude was like in the hallway talking about something, yeah, uh, they say, damn, man, you lost it. Cause they say it's like what you mean is like cause they say the last one wasn't hitting on nothing, and the boy been <laughs> laughing and shit like that. Like, dog ain't really been hitting on his last couple specials, man. Yeah, I mean I don't know what's going on with the plastic cup boys, man. He, he might he might be feeding them too much, man. Really Do he got writers? I got you. I got you. I mean, it's not like he don't have the, you know, the money to do it. It just seemed like he just became comfortable. And like you said, maybe he's not on stage enough to, I mean, maybe he should take it back to a small room, man. I mean, he did that, he did that just now. I don't really count that one. <laughs> that crowd was kind of, <laughs> I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like his Philly days. Mm-hmm. And we was talking, like you said, we was talking about this last night, mm-hmm. like, like with the exception of like you know, because after that, like that Patrice O'Neal, Bernie Mac, uh, who else who was talking about like in that in that class, you know, from a few years back, like it really ain't been no comedians that's really been, and, and Dave, of course, like it really ain't been no comedians that's really been hitting like that for real, like with the stand up, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a few of them boys I don't know, and I'm not in tune. Like if I catch him like on a whim, like maybe I was saying the dude from the ATL show, he had a special on a uh, Shaq. It was it might have been an All Star Weekend, but it, I don't think it was. It might have been something else, but I know it was in Atlanta. That nigga from ATL is funny as hell, but I don't know his name. It was like the episode for those who don't know what I'm talking about. It was the episode when uh when uh when boy paper boy was trying to get the haircut and he had him running across town and shit. He got a stand up that's hilarious, but I don't know his name though. Wait, where'd you see that on YouTube or something? I want to say it was on Netflix, man. I'll find it. When you know I find it, I'll shoot it to you. But right, right. once I get his name, you can YouTube his name. Once I get his name, I you you can YouTube his name, and I'm pretty sure it'll pop up. But, but dog like, is even, even with him, it's like mm-hmm. it's like you know it's like folks like him is kind of like really few and far between. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. A few years ago, we had all these dudes at one time. So yeah, we had Tommy like, Davidson, yeah. we had D Ray, we had uh, I know I'm missing some people. Um, Aries, Aries Spears. Um, yeah, man, it's just I just feel like with with comedy, man. I me personally, I don't like an overly animated comedian. I like somebody who is just talk some real shit and put a twist on it. You know what I'm saying? Like. And just not afraid to say certain shit. You know what I'm saying? It just yeah. feel like with Kevin, like he kind of like walk on eggshells. I don't know. You can tell when a nigga timid as far as like yeah. trying to see his content. Like, yeah, his content. So that's all it is, man. I mean, other what, than that. What would you rate it? Really, as far as like the net, because I, I even go back and look at like, you know, what's been coming out on Netflix. They has been a little decent, but it's just like as far as like. When you think of like the, because you know it's tears, it's tears to these comedians. So it's like, I can only say it's really been, really Dave on Netflix, and then I like the, uh, I like Dion Cole's special that he had on there too. That was pretty dope. Yeah, that nigga's kind of funny. Dion Cole one. Yeah. I said D Ray had one that was pretty cool. Like, Lavelle got one that's on there too. Who? Lavelle. Oh, I gotta catch that. I don't think I seen. I that think one. he got one. I think he got one on there. Uh, on there. For sure, like I said, man, it's a, it's a lot of these niggas who ain't as big as him. That's 
kind of funny. That's why, like, when he retweet to reach it, it was kind of like, bro, like, me truth hurts, man. Like, you know, it, it might have triggered something because you can't bring up the money. It's interesting that he just picked to reach because that's, that's kind of been like the overall consensus on it. Yeah. Though. Like, people really wasn't fucking with that shit, though. Like, <laughs> but so you, like, you, you know, niggas got to bring up that reach? money. Niggas got <laughs> niggas got to bring up their money. <laughs> <laughs> when they got nothing else to use, <laughs> it's like, bro, we understand. Like, you fifty million up, seventy million, whatever the case may be. Like, we get it. But you said, said Kevin might be even worth more than that. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, yeah, too, like, it was like that was that was never the thing. We never took away that. Yeah, from like, like you very successful, my nigga. Just get back to your roots. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think he just needs to loosen up, honestly. To be honest with you, like talk about the cheating shit. You see what I'm saying? Like digging. Like, I mean, I understand. Talk about it. Like, talk about that shit, dog. You see what I'm saying? Like, I understand you got a wife at home, but, like, at the, it's comedy at the a end of the day. A great comedian would find comedy yeah. in a situation like that. Like, Richard Pryor would have found comedy in a situation like that. He Hell yeah. About, Even Chris he Rock. He talked about it on the new shit, but he was kind of, like well, I said, Chris, like, he was really, like, timid about it. Like, he just kind of said something and left it at that. But it's like, nigga, like, that was a big part of your year that year, dog. Like, Bruh, you know, remember like, when Chris Rock dropped his special last year? Yeah. Chris Rock talked about his cheating. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, Eric, like Chris Rock's special was 10 out of 10. Like, that shit was good as fuck. You see what I'm saying? Like, That's it wasn't... I thought about when y'all was talking Yeah, about it wasn't that. a I mean, dull that, moment. Yeah. It wasn't a dull moment with his stand-up. And he talked about his cheating shit. And it was just like, he put a twist on it. And with Kevin, it's kind of like, I don't know, because he don't probably want to embarrass his wife. But it's like, bro, like... You're a comedian. You're a nigga. comedian, my nigga. Like, <laughs> nothing is out of bounds when you're a comedian. Exactly. Comedian. Nothing is out of bounds. That's just the art of making humor out of reality. That's really what it is. Niggas can relate when they laugh the hardest when a comedian says something that relates to them. Like, they just, they already either seen it or they've lived it, and that's why it's so funny. He know that. Like, he know that. That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why these reviews kind of hit in different form. Mm. He know that. Because mm. that's where he come from. He come from that. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like he come under Patrice O'Neal. Like, he come under these niggas, bro. Like, so it's like, he knows this. This is the same nigga that went on Fox Hall Radio and, re- and and flamed all them niggas. Like, he know what it is. You know what I'm saying? He come from this cloth now. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just different. It's different seeing, like, you know, his, his, uh, him, you know, his, his, his path in, within, within stand-up because it's like, he come from that club that we was talking about with, with like, you know, the goats that we that we consider the goats. So it's like, you know, that's why that's why I'm really saying like those these reviews is hitting because he he know that. He know this shit. Hey, when you you can't you can't be the big dog and not get critiqued, man. That's all yeah, I can say. Like, this, this, it, this, this goes across all this board. goes across all type of art forms, dog. You can't be highly revered and then wanna run away from from the critiques because that's that's what that's what everybody goes through. Mm-hmm. Everybody goes through this. We didn't just do this last night. This shit been happening. I don't understand it, man. I don't get it. I don't know. Will you think he'll drop another special? Will you think he gonna take uh-huh. some time off? He need to take some time off. He really do. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what it, I don't. I feel like y'all, like I say, he just need to really get back to to the basics, man. Find his roots within this shit because. Uh, it's it's just it just it don't hit the same no more, man. This comes from somebody who really rocked with Kevin Hart. Like like I used to go to his, his standups when he came when he came to Charleston. Mm-hmm. Like even back when he was first starting out, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I, I I supported that man, so it's like I can't really I can't really write him off, but I know he I know what he's capable of. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like so, you know, you got you got fun, you got to be better, man. That's, that's the so hardest. Much, that's the hardest profession I think on this on this planet, man, is being a comedian. I don't think people understand how hard that shit is to do. Like, so if you blessed with that shit, like God gave you that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, yep. that shit is not easy at all, dog. Like to keep a crowd engaged, like at all times, and just be original and just genuinely be funny. Like that shit ain't easy, dog. Like everybody can't do that shit. Everybody can't do that shit, and it's only a select yep. few that separate themselves from the pack. So it'd be it'd be a blessing seeing like certain comedians still being in their late thirties, forties, going into their fifties and still, you know, still rocking. Shit, technically life. that's really your prime to be honest. Cause yeah. you you going through life. You done been through life by the time you done hit forty. 
Yeah, you really living like Eddie Murphy. I feel like Eddie Murphy dropped a stand up right now. That shit would be. Oh man, he gotta have some stories, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie gotta have some stories, stories bro. That's some of the best things. This nigga hung out with Prince. Yeah, he, he gotta have some everybody. stories by now. He hung, yeah, with everybody, but Eddie I'm Murphy, just saying, I, I can only imagine Murphy how legendary was. them behind them closed door stories was. Yeah, These niggas didn't have camera phones back then. Eddie, Eddie was one of them dudes in Hollywood, like, in, like you know what I'm saying? Like, Hell yeah. This is, this is Beverly Hills Cop, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would y'all say was bro? his best stand-up? Who, Eddie? Oh, yeah. De- delirious. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Delirious, man. Delirious? What about Martin Lawrence? Um, I say you so crazy. Mm. That's a classic. I can't say I look, run run tell that. Yeah, my uncle shit. loved run tell that. Yeah, run tell that was funny, but it wasn't. It ain't really been. And I'm not saying it was corny or nothing like that. It just wasn't better than the older shit. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, I could agree with. Yeah, I fuck with that. Shit, at one point, Chris Rock was running the 90s with the stand-up. There he was. He definitely was. Chris Rock got this, some classics, bro. The stand-ups were moments. Like, niggas used to, like, really, like, crowd around and watch them shit on HBO. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Those were the days. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jamie Foxx had his moments with the stand-up. I feel like if he dropped a, a, if he wanted to really get back in that bag, I feel like he Hell could yeah. Something. Hell yeah, Jamie. Oh, Jamie can jump in and out. Yeah, Jamie goes. can jump in and out on that shit. Especially with him being like, him having like premiere roles and shit like that. I know he can get up he'll, there and do some shit. I forever. Hope he'll him. kill that shit. Yeah, he'll kill that I shit. I feel like he need to drop one after this Mike Tyson movie, man. Man, I know he about to body this shit, dog. I know he about to body this shit, dog. <laughs> hey, like who else? Who else could have got and and did Mike Tyson? Like, let's be real. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody else could have did that shit. Like Jamie done killed Ray Charles. Like, of course you got to get him to do this one. He's a good impersonator. Exactly. You know those, exactly. Those roles were meant for him. Those roles were meant for him, man. Yeah. You know. You know who I thought? I didn't really like Will Smith being Ali, bro. No, I did like it. You liked it? I really didn't. I felt they could have got somebody, but I think for the time they really didn't have nobody else to do it. I mean, he yeah, did yeah, good. That, that was that was peak. That was peak Will Smith, man. You think he killed it? Killed yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Do you? I don't, ha, have you I don't, like watched that? Yeah, yeah, watched I watched it, but I don't think he killed Even it. Killed his it. Facial is, but no, I think he killed it, bro. It takes a lot to embody someone to mimic them the way that they do that. I don't know, man. I just feel lot, like I feel like he did a good job. I don't think he did a great, great job. Uh, I can't. I don't know. I can't, I just like Denzel, Jamie Fox, Will Smith. All of these niggas did like. My greatest act, like I've watched them yeah, my entire course. life, bro. Yeah, like that's so out of both. It, of me, it like, don't matter. Yeah. Like I just no, I hold feel them I put Don school. Cheadle in that class too. Yeah, Don Cheadle's been. Oh, yeah, my yeah. Yeah. He's up there. He, I put him in because he was in a lot of them '90s movies. Traffic. He yeah. was great. He, he was good in a lot of movies, bro. Mm-hmm. And he's he was real there. versatile. Like he'll do a, a British accent, pretty spot on. Like he he does all this shit. He was there. That man was there too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like you said, like, the autobiography, I, like, those, like, that shit different, man. Like, I don't think nobody else could have played Ali. I don't think nobody else could have played Malcolm. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody else could have played Ray. Like, that shit just wouldn't have worked no other way, man. Like, oh, it was hell. Never- hell no, especially not Malcolm X. And damn sure not Ray. Denzel, like nobody- Denzel was 100% Malcolm X. Nobody else could play Malcolm but Denzel, bro. Yeah, that yeah, just for sure. For sure. So, hopefully, man, Kevin can get his shit together, man. Um, I think if he take about a year and a half off and come back strong, he can get some material, uh, get some more life experiences up under his belt, and, you know. You just don't got to just... Your your foundation don't got to be your family, bro. And if it is, like, bro, like, spin that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just get more... I think he got to get more raw. That's what I yeah. think it is. Just get more raw. He tried, he tried to spin it, but he still tried to play PC with it. You can't Yeah, play it. you can't be PC. Like, they, we already know it's a few of them. Like, if Bernie was still here, Patrice was still here, like, ain't no There's PC no going on. on. Yeah, ain't no PC going on, dog. Ain't none of that shit going on. So I feel like if, you know, he get he get up under there and kind of shake that and not worry about the backlash. Because you got to figure, too, Kevin catered to a morally white crowd now, too. 
That's what I'm saying. That's so you got to You can't be worrying about them, man. Like you got to You got remember who you are at the end of the day. You said, and I'm not saying that he has. I'm just saying like just because you got more white people as your fan base now, it's like dog. Like your your core is still black people. Like you, see what I'm saying like tap into that shit. You gotta think of Mike Epps. If Mike Epps come out on stage, he gonna he gonna he gonna let the white people know what time it is off top. That's what I'm know? saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm Man, saying. Like, niggas, niggas, niggas let they they let they let them white people know what it is off top. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's not about to be no confusion about what's said on this stage tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I don't see Kevin Hart doing that no more. Yeah, man, it's unfortunate, man. But he definitely got paid. I don't know how much he got paid, but he got Netflix. Netflix handing out handing him out a hefty hefty bag. I'm sure. Oh, they broke Kevin Hart off. They broke Kevin Hart off. You're because because Dave talking. got sixty for both of his, right? He got sixty M's for both of his specials, didn't he? Yeah, and he found See? another deal for the other ones. He got like four of them shit on there now. So I they, they, broke, they broke Kevin Hart off. They not. Kevin Hart not doing nothing on or for Netflix, and, and he know Netflix handing out money. He not playing with Netflix. So how much? They how much you think he got for one special? I would say at least seventy. I would agree to that. I would agree. If Dave Dave got two for sixty, I can see that. Who I think Kevin is just a, 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 a more a more known. Yeah, he bigger. He bigger. So he had he got to get at least at least seventy for one, which is crazy. Like that's crazy. Yeah, but it's not about right though. Hey, shout out to Netflix too, man. I'm gonna continue to give y'all flowers, man. I thought y'all was gonna get up out the paint last year, but y'all been holding this shit now. So. Y'all need to make this shit right with Monique now. <laughs> got, this shit Netflix Netflix on. is staying current with the content, man. Y'all got the parkers on there? Yeah, you know they got. Get this shit right. Yeah. Correct correct y'all wrong. Yeah. Monique, you, you think she, you think they'll ever uh give her some specials like a deal for the specials? They need to. They need to. I mean, since, since if that's I, I I've been saying this for a while, man. Netflix want to do all of this Black Lives Matter shit on their on their platform and do the strong Black lead shit. Mm-hmm. You know, put you know, put the Parkers on there. Make that shit right, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make that shit right, man. Cause niggas niggas talking about that. Like that's not nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, niggas talking about that. Like that ain't you know that ain't you know nothing nothing that's being swept under the rug. As far as how Netflix, you know, conducted her. So, make that shit right, man. For sure, for sure. So, we had some new music came out over the uh, weekend. You got to check out that, Meg? Yeah, I listened <laughs> to some of it. I listened to what I what I could listen to. Like, I really... Yeah. We want to talk about that now, or we going to... You know, no, I mean... Right, else came out. We can talk about something else if you want. If we don't got to dive right into that. There's something else that came out that I know Jeezy dropped the recession too. We could tie all that shit in together. All right, so Meg dropped Meg dropped her uh, Meg dropped her album uh, Good News. Jeezy dropped recession too. Um, Gucci Mad dropped his uh, trap classics called compilation with all his all his hits on there. Mm. Uh, did Lil Yachty drop? Lil, no, Lil Boat Lil Boat three point five dropped next week. I thought that came out this week. But uh, who else was that? Was that all that came out? Um, not that I'm looking. Uh, yeah, two chains. Oh yeah, two, two chains. So help me two God. Two chains album. Two chains album. Uh, that was was that it? I think that's about it. Kodak. Was that an album that he dropped? Yeah. Was it an album? I think so. I didn't. I didn't even know Kodak dropped. It'd be so much shit coming out, man. Like. It's hard to keep up, dog. I Bill, see. I just see Kodak drop something. He dropped Bill, Bill Israel. Okay, I didn't get a chance to peep that yet, and I saw that. Uh, I saw uh, the Quando Rondo, uh, the Quando Rondo single came out. That's the one that he was talking about. That uh, King Von situation. situation? Yeah. What do yeah. you think about that, man? Um, it's like, all right, it's like uh, I can't be mad at him. I can't be mad at him for dropping this, the record, especially like what he was what he was saying within the record because it was it was true shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, had it been the other way around, like it would have been Quando Rondo pack. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I said this last week. You know what I'm saying? This should only apply to who y'all like and who y'all don't like. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, 
slandered him ass for dropping his side of the story. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the, in the record, he say shit. We had to make it home, too. Shit, like, we we human just like he human. Just because he more popular than me, I'm just supposed to, like, you know, lose my life and y'all just make jokes on, you know, and, and tarnish my legacy. Like, I'm a man, too. So, I can't really, I can't really knock this shit. Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know, that's just where that's just where we get in music now where niggas like really talking about like, you know, murder cases, like, you know, why they going on. Like it's just that's just where we at. I feel you. I, I, I definitely wow. agree. I just wanted your take on it. Um Wow. I pretty much agree with everything you said. You see what I'm saying? Um at the end of the day, man, niggas niggas gonna have their side of the story. You know, unfortunately somebody lost their life and it's like he pleaded self defense, so what you want him to do at the end of the day? You see know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's unfortunate we had to lose somebody who could have been very big in rap, but you know I can't be mad at him. Other people may feel some type of like you said because King Von is more popular than him. You see know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so all it comes down to. That's like, that's what it comes down to the popularity aspect. You know, he got more fans, of course. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it was the other way around, niggas would have been clowning Kondo for for losing his life. So it's like. You know, and you know, you know what type of you know what type of club I'm from. He would have it would have been songs. I oh yeah, you know he don't care, and he 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 definitely didn't care. So, and that's what I'm saying. So it's like you know, can't have this shit both ways, man. It's going, it's going, it's one way. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a one way street with this shit. You can't go both ways. Mm-hmm. So how can I? You know, because I'm gonna listen to the music regardless. I have no ties to neither neither one of these niggas. So it's like you know. That street, that they, they street beef, that got nothing to do with me. I want to hear the music, so you know that's just where we at with this shit. You know, it's like you say, it's very unfortunate people actually losing their life, like, and it's to a point where you see this shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I definitely feel you. I feel you. So, what did you think about Jeezy album? I feel like you know the Jeezy, the Jeezy album, you know. It ain't, it's not a trash album, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not trash, it's just, I just feel like, you know, that's just not what, what people was trying to hear, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, like, at the end of the day, like, we understand, you know, Jeezy is who he is, but at the end of the day, you still gotta cater to your fans, man. Like, I just don't feel like that was, niggas wasn't trying to hear that shit, man. Like, we know, we know the economy fucked up. Like, when the first recession came out, like, it was cool, like, and, and it was just like, you know, the album had moments where it picked up, you had, you had moments from the first recession where he kicked the real shit and it was cool, like, you know what I'm saying, Dollar Circulate, that's one of my favorite Jeezy records, that's on the first recession, like, he was kicking some real shit on there, and I, I just feel like, you know, the people right now, we know we fucked up, like, we know, we know all the shit going, like, we don't need an album right now. You know, telling us that we fucked up. It just—it was different. It was different in two thousand eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, I feel like I feel like the recession was so special because the content on it, we never got that before at a time where the country was really going through some shit. So I agree. It really wasn't a need to put the same persona on this album. You see what I'm saying? Like I get why he did it because it was the second term rolling around and you know Trump is gone. But it's like then it's Biden and Obama again. So I get it. But at the same time too, it's like. Eh, we ain't need that, man. We didn't need we that. Ain't... Yeah, we we got that story before, basically. Yeah, and we it's just that. like I'm just at a point where like, I ain't trying to hear. Like I said, I think I said this before too. Well, I'm about to get into that with the Meg with the Meg album. Like mm-hmm. I ain't trying to hear niggas like drop Breonna Taylor and, and George Floyd in the in the in the bars. Like I'm just not trying to hear that shit, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not. That's just me personally. I'm just I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. I think we bro. got enough of that. When it happened, and we just saw yeah, a lot of companies, you know it became like, watered down. We saw it in the commercials. We saw it in, like, you know, it, like all type of shit. We just saw it through certain Instagram posts. We saw it on t shirts. We saw it on all type of shit. Like, the Breonna Taylor George Floyd thing just became, it came like, like, it, it didn't become genuine. It became, it, it, it really wasn't genuine no more. Yeah. Like, I just, like you said, like, I mean, we, we, we we got this already, like, enough through social media, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just, I just didn't need an album tell this, like, it's like, all right, when, when in 08, when the shit dropped, he was talking about the recession and all this shit, like, we weren't, 
we weren't we weren't we weren't uh, rounded as as rounded as adults are, as we are now. So it's like that was Jeezy was the news to us now. Is this twenty twenty? Like we we in our thirties, you about to hit thirty? Like we 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 are we are in tune with, with what's going on. Like we know what's going on. It's like we don't we didn't need we didn't need you know Jeezy telling us you know trying to trying to tell us what was going on. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we know we already know. Everything that he's talking about in this album, like we know, we already we've already talked about this before. Like you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like you know, you know, for the I just you know just what even like naming the shit recession too. Like certain just certain shit don't need a part two. Exactly. Like, you know? That's what it all boils down to. Then certain shit don't yeah, need like, a part two. <laughs> we we didn't need a part two. Like recession was cool. Like it's, it, it's okay. That's what made it a that. classic. You see know what I'm saying? So you can't, most of the time, you can't recreate classics, man. Yeah, like, you know, and, it's, and that's cool. Yeah, and that's cool, yeah. That's definitely you know? cool. So what you what you think about Meg's album? Uh, cause I, had a, I had a few conversations with, with women. Like, I, like yeah, like, me and you talked same. about it. Like we yeah, talked about same, it. same. Had, but, like, for the most part, I've been asking, like, females how they felt about it. And a lot of the females that I talked about, they said this shit is forgettable. You know what I'm saying? Like no replay they, value. There's no replay in this shit. Like even the tracks that, even the tracks that they would rock with, they took those and put them on playlists. Like they're not going back and listening to this album through and full. Like you know what I'm saying? Like and even with the whole like you know like the the shots fired shit is just like you know like like how like how we get to this point where it's like you know this isolated situation ties into you know Brianna Taylor like you know what I'm saying like the shit just the shit just getting weird to me man like it's like, it's, it's saying, like, like, like when niggas it's like when niggas me, man like yeah it's like, bro, that, was, that was an isolated situation you went through in that car that night you know what I'm saying like that's just I don't know man like, it's a typical shit like when niggas used to do some shit and they be like oh niggas doing this but Flint still don't got clean water it's like okay like what does that have to do with anything <laughs> like you keep talking about people you first of all to be honest with you like for the most people been off that whole situation dog yeah, like, man, it's, it's to point like it's i don't i don't give a fuck what the outcome about that shit is no more to be honest with you so it's like Real talk. you doing a diss song and then like it's funny because people were saying it was like like uh insensitive on his part and he didn't have not one diss song on that whole album but she turned around and do a diss song to him and her home girl and it's like Okay, I thought you was off it though. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's the first track out the gate on the album. Then you sample who shot you. Well, nigga, you know who shot you. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Like, like if you really wanna. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. I'm off it. 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 <laughs> You know. I, I mean, overall though, man, I, I I listened to it, but I just wasn't like. And the thing with Meg is like, it's same. I had conversation with women about this, and they just like, you know, some of her freestyles just be better than her actual music itself, and it's just like, Facts. she hasn't really been hitting on her last few projects. Like, twenty nineteen, twenty nineteen was a good year for her. And when then, I heard the don't stop tra- uh, record with Young Thug. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, this album might be hard because I, I like that song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was, they energy on that song together was crazy. I like that record. But, like, you know, this this album, like, all together is just, it just saying what it, you know? It's not, I just feel like she, like you said, like, that, that energy, that energy and swag that she be having on them freestyles, I feel like she need, she need to put that, she need to spill that same energy into these albums. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when her body's at work, just not, with, with the exception of Tina Snow, like, I really like that album, too, like. It just ain't, you know, it's not carrying over for some, for some reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? This, this, is, this is what makes, like, great female rappers better than the rest because... Yeah, she should be in her prime right now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, how old is she? Is she, what, 25? 25. You know what I'm saying? Nikki, what, when did Nikki hit her prime? I don't even think Nikki was 25 when she hit her prime. So, Nikki was 20... She was a little was, older, so... Matter of fact, when Nicki was on Come Up, she was 25. So exactly. her, her first album, Nicki was 27. Pink Friday, her first album, she was 27. All right. 
So it's like in, in Pink Friday, that's that's considered like you know her crown jewel. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Shit, crazy. That shit hit ten years yesterday. Matter of fact, Pink Friday. That's crazy to think 2010 was 10 years ago, dog. Like, that's what wild. Kanye? Kanye? Yeah, Con- uh, he coming up, matter of fact, isn't he? That should be this today, week. I think, yeah, to, I think it's either today. I think people will sing us today. The 22nd? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a masterpiece in itself. We ain't got to speak too much on that. Like, just to think I that was want- 10 years. That That's crazy, too, because I remember getting the visual video for, like, that whole album, too. Like, that shit was a time in itself. So I think with Meg, back to Meg, like she can rap. There's no no doubt in my mind that she can rap. Like she can easily smoke a lot of people, men too. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like she needs to. I don't know, and I don't even think it's a content thing. I just feel like her, the production, with her with her rapping ability, the production and the songs can just be a little bit better. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Especially that's like with her flow, cause she got a dope flow too. The talent's there. Yeah, the talent's definitely there for sure. Cause I tell you, what, like I really did not like that body song. That song is so whack. That's just trash. Yeah, it's just whack. So what do you what do you feel about the narrative that was going on on Twitter? And we saw we talked about it about uh, how we critique Meg harder than our favorites. That's cap. Big, everybody, big. Everybody get fried. Big cap. Because <laughs> I mean, in my and you know, according to me, niggas was just saying, niggas was just they was just saying Uzi Uzi back should be heard from Karen from Karen Future the whole that whole album. So now all of a sudden, uh, you can't say Meg needed to do better on her album. I thought. You know, I thought I thought y'all just killed this nigga. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, niggas wasn't I'm even about. revering that album. That's the thing. So for niggas to use that as a crutch is like, dog. Nobody was talking about that Uzi and Future like that, bro. No, but I mean, it's still people still talk about it. You know, so I understand it wasn't like you know highly highly COVID, but it's like it wasn't like when Uzi dropped his album. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Like exactly. a classic, like an instant classic type shit. Well, shit, and even if you want to go back to that. Meg had just dropped the album when Uzi dropped this album. Yeah, he smoked her. And he and then with that album, <laughs> with that 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 sugar shit wasn't even talked about no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I people think, forget. I, remember, I, I think people really forget like when she was really like getting her recognition, like 18 and 19, dog. Like we didn't really have no negative critiques about Meg when she was out here in 18 and 19. And more so 19 because she was getting headway around 18 because of Tina Snow. But when 19 came around, it was just like, okay, she kicked the door in. And she got she got every award. She got every award that she deserved. She got every single like recognition that she deserved. And it was just like this year, it was just like, nah. It just wasn't hitting. And the and the data's there. So you can't say niggas hating. Like you can't say niggas being massaging. That's like Niggas love Meg. Like niggas love Meg, Facts. bro. Like, Facts. like nobody's 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 on the He Man He Man Women Haters Club shit with Meg the Stallion. Like, Not I the little rascal. Really, <laughs> like no, nah, because the shit, the shit is weak. It's it's really weak. It's bro, a weak play. It's a weak play. It's a weak it's play. It's a really weak play because of a man of a man was to say, ah, this shit really not hitting to me. Oh, you just say you hate women and leave. Like and that's just corny. Like that's just really corny because. Because it's, it's like if you really if you really get into it and say specifically why you don't why you don't like the album like it don't got nothing to do with no with no male female dynamic at all. It just comes down to the quality of the work. Like the shit, it's like you say, it's, it's a very weak play, man. Like and that should it shouldn't be like that when we talking music, man. It really shouldn't. Cause niggas trying to do this whole. Twitter timeline shit with with music and that shit ain't right, man. That shit not right. Especially you know, it's, like it, the, it, it crosses the, over to another conversation that'll never yeah. die too. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like, it just crosses it crosses that, over into some shit that we shouldn't be going back and forth about. Especially like throughout throughout history, like women have if you if you was a dope woman rapper in the game, you got your props. 
So it was like if you if it was the other way around, you would you would let known, hey, you need to tighten this up. The same thing with men. You know what I'm saying? Like especially with Meg, like you say, Meg twenty nineteen, she kicked the door down with the endorsements. She did she did her thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just now, right now she's she hit you can say it's a sophomore slump. Like the music just need to be tuned up, man. That's all we saying. I, I put to you, I put to you like this, man. Um, I feel like she need like a little Wayne in her corner. And when I say that, I think about this time with Nicki Minaj. This is around her Pink Friday documentary time frame, or something like that, or post that. It was some behind the music type shit. I can't remember exactly what it was, but she said it was a time when she went into the studio with Wayne to work on some shit, right? And he was mad at her for not like putting in a certain amount of time in the studio. And he was just like, I think she had did something. He told her to scrap it. And she was like, damn. And then he was like, she came back and he rapped some shit for her. I mean, for him. And it was like, he gave her the stamp of approval on it. And I saw something with yesterday on Meg's Instagram where she was like, when I'm in the studio, nobody's in there. It's just me by myself. And I'm not saying nothing wrong with that. But it's like, maybe you do need to have like a un- like unbiased ear in there. To be like, hey, you know what? This shit ain't really... Because, you know, of course, also, we had the, oh, it's not her fault. How it's not her fault? This is her project. This is her album. Who else you going to blame? She got to sign off on everything before the shit get into motion. So it's like, I feel like she need that. And only got to necessarily be a male. It could be a female. Somebody to just be giving her like, hey, dog, like, scratch that shit. Do it again. And sometimes you get you get great you get great records behind that shit. Like remember when Raw said that Kanye scrapped his original verse for Devil in a New Dress? Yeah. Like who's to say if Ye would have kept that shit, we would have never got that moment. We would have never got that moment on that record. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like Meg, if she is in the studio by herself, nobody else in there. Like I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but maybe you need to have that ear in there. That's like, hey, the one ear that you know you can trust. Just have you in there and just be like, hey, you know what? Tune this up a little bit. Hey, scratch that. Say this instead of that. You see what I'm saying? And maybe the music can be a little better. I agree. I agree. I agree. Even if them niggas not in the studio session, like that that person needs to be the first person you send them rough drafts to. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And you being a rapper yourself, you know how that shit can go down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't got to be nothing negative. It's just like, hey, dog, you could clean this up a little better. Or your energy could be a little bit better on this right here. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. It's not even on no other shit, man. Like, everybody needs that. Everybody needs that. Like you said, like... You, you can't know, prop yeah. these people up and put them top tier. And then the, this, this go back to the Kevin Hart thing. You can't put these people up there and then give them a pass when they put out sub, subpar music. You can't do it. It don't work like that. It don't. It never did. <laughs> That's why, like, I just be a real. It'd be surprising when folks try to change the rules. Like, when did when did we start doing this? Like, when? I have no idea, man. And then you know, it's, I think it's it, it. Like I said, it crosses over into another conversation that is a never ending conversation. Like. We cross over to the Me Too movement, and people might laugh, but that's some real shit. Like, these conversations turn into that. Like, it goes from, okay, well, y'all judging too. Y'all don't do this for other. Oh, let's talk about how. Da, da, da. Like, it's it's a never ending thing, bro. Like, and it don't it never it needs to just stay within the realms, and the realms is his music. Like, just keep it's, it where it is. Like, I don't look at Meg. I'm not gonna judge Meg no different from how I do Drake, Ross, Jeezy. Like, nobody else. It, they all get the same shit, especially if you're the top dog. So now, if we all felt like Lil Baby should have been Artist of the Year, in my opinion, I felt he should have been. If he put out another whack, if he puts out a, a, a project that's not held up to them standards, he's going to get the same shit. And the, and, the, and, the, and the data was there to show why Baby should have won that award. Like, yeah. that's all it came down to. I just... I just for for a whole a whole week and a half I just been saying why Jeezy was gonna win this battle and I just said recession two wasn't like that like if you 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 can there's there's a balance within all of this shit like I just don't understand like when it comes to certain people like you can't you can't say you can't say certain things like and it don't even be no hateful shit like I don't I don't hate man you know what I'm saying like 
don't know, man. Nobody it's hates just, that girl at all, period. Like, yeah, nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody not Meg. a soul. Like, nobody, like we want to see Meg be great. Like, we want to see Meg hit female icon status. We need more female icons. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta paint. You when you when you get into that point, you gotta, you gotta build a strong foundation, and these these bodies of work just not it. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like, that's all it is. And I just feel like I don't. Know. Dog, has Cardi ever dropped another album, or that 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 was her only album she dropped so far? What that uh? The one that she won album of the year for. <laughs> nah, this, I mean that I mean, rap, that rap, rap rap album. record was supposed to the WAP record was supposed to be uh the first the you know the the lead single for her new album, but we ain't you know I ain't heard nothing about it yet. Maybe she playing it safe. You never know. Yeah, because that album had to come out twenty eighteen and seventeen. No, it was twenty. It was twenty eighteen. Okay, okay. Got you. We got think like she had. She had a few. She had a few songs that carried her over for a minute. Like that's what I'm saying. It only take one song to have you straight for a minute. And I think with somebody okay. like Cardi, she don't never feel pressed to like put out something. So no, she don't. And I feel like that that's beneficial for her because we won't get a forced project. Well, you gotta remember, like her her roots is social media off top, so mm-hmm. it don't it like the music shit. The music shit is cool for her, but she's gonna always she's gonna always be in your face. You know what I'm saying? She gonna always be she gonna always you will always know what Cardi up to. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. on the social media. So it's like you know, Nicki ain't come from that. Meg ain't come from that. So it's like it's a different it's a different lane for Cardi. That's why she was able. To just drop a new a new single in 2020, you know what I'm saying with the WAP shit. So that's that's just, just seeing a different lane from them. 100 percent agree, bro. So we'll see. She might need to take a little bit more time off too from like dropping these projects back to back like that, you know? Because I mean, we just got Sugar last year. You see what I'm saying like September, August. So here we are. Well, it's over a year later now. So no, nah, she actually is on time. I feel like she dropped some more projects in between. I don't know. Maybe it's the singles that's clouded in my mind. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Like even with the Beyonce, e- even with the Beyonce record. Damn, was it? Was it last year? No, Sugar, Sugar was this year because Savage came out this year. Savage came out this year. Then the remix came out like a, like a couple months after that. Let me look up her. And name. Savage is on Sugar. Savage Sugar came out like probably like like February or March. She had another like little record, like a little album, like that was last year. Yeah, you're right. So she got like, she got three EPs, one mixtape, one studio album. So Fever came out 2019. That that's what that was, Fever. Yeah, it was Fever. So Sugar did come out this year. And see, I I got my gripes about Fever too, because Fever was actually a dope album, but her team. Her team, they they didn't do their job with that record. Like it was supposed to be like a little, like a little movie. Like cause she was like, they was like, uh, they was promoting like she was like was a, like a seventies movie, like on some Cleopatra Jones type shit. And it was supposed to be like a little, like a little video movie with it. Cause mm-hmm. she had the track with, with the baby and shit. Remember all of that? Yeah. So Sugar came out right before the pandemic, March six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn, Sugar, that's right crazy. Before, right, yeah, right before the panty. Yeah. So it was, it was like you know, even going back to the fever album, I'm like, you know, it was a lot of bu- it, was, it was they dropped they dropped it, they fumbled a lot with that fever album. Cause I, I thought that the fever album was gonna be a little a little a little bit more a little bit more respected, but it was it didn't it just didn't stick. Fever was May 2019, dog. Yeah. I thought that shit was like September 2019. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yup, and that had cash shit on there with the baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yup. Damn. And then she did the remix to Hot Girl Song. Or oh, that wasn't... I keep thinking that was a remix. Because that was the one that had Nicki and uh, Ty Dolla Sign and on Ty it, right? Ty Dolla Sign. That wasn't a remix. That was the original song. That was the original song. Okay. Damn. Like you, you got a, you got a Nikki, you got a Nikki stimulus package. You got the baby when he was on fire, twenty nineteen. You got Beyonce, which is which is 
you know, you don't even got to say nothing after that. And it's like, for some reason, these shit just not sticking how they're supposed to stick. Like, yeah, Savage, Savage was big, but it's like the other shit just not, you know, it's just, it, it kind of it kind of got bone fumbled, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Mm. So let's talk about this versus, man. This classic, classic versus, man. What you think? What you think about it, man? Um, I thought I thought it was I thought it was epic. I I, I didn't ever, I, I didn't think this would ever happen, but it happened. So it's, you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot to unpack with this shit, man. But it's like uh, it's. I'm like overall. I'm glad it happened. I'm glad that it's over with. Mm-hmm. I'm glad. I'm just glad that it happened. Man, it was a good night for the South, man. I'll say that for sure. Though. Word, that's what's up. So you want to run down? You want to run down the scoreboard, or? Yeah, we can run down the scoreboard. We can run it down. Yeah. So shout out the verses too, because I didn't even know they had a poll on there. If you go in there, you can sign up, and you can just like do a poll for all the verses that they did. So, oh, okay. Yeah, you can do a poll for all the verses that they did. So. Of course, you know, right out the gate we got round one. <laughs> we got round one versus in the intro. So of course we got to get that to Gucci. Hey man, Gucci set the tone with that shit. You know he slick because he changed up the chorus when he was rapping the shit. <laughs> Nigga was saying this is Jeezy. Versus, he say this is Gucci Man versus Young Jeezy. Like just basically going over the original what that shit was originally saying. Like I was like, okay, this is the type of time we on right now. Like. But not the, the original song said that this is this is Gucci versus Jeezy. You sure? I'm thinking I might have been thinking about something else. No, that's that's how the, that's how the song go. He he was he. That's what I'm saying. Like that for him is different. That was that was a hell of a that was a hell of a way. That was a hell of a way to to really to really like you know start it off. It like, makes sense though. It that's makes sense. Like, Hold on now, and then he hit then he hit with the bench warmers for the next song. I was like, oh shit! I was like. I know now if he on this type of time where he digging into the mix because he went he went to the ice attack on that and I was like hold on now uh, hold on now. so well, first round Jeezy, so first round you get that to Gucci right what's that that first round you give it to Gucci right yeah 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 I agree now. so next round we got bench warmers versus trap or die I gave it to trap or die oh hang him down that's what I'm saying like because. I just I I didn't know I didn't know because when he played bench warmers I was like oh shit yeah oh shit like I ain't know so we got a uh, I think I love her versus stand innovation we're not doing that stand yeah. innovations or I think I love her <laughs> I saw niggas trying to trying to <laughs> trying to reach trying to reach and I'm like we're not doing that now yeah. come on now so we got uh playing Jane versus gangster music I gave it the gangster music yeah all right I'm a dog versus bottom of the map this one people felt like. I'm a dog is an automatic W, but I gave it to bottom of the map. Now, this is the thing. Both songs, both songs are hits. Now, I, me as a Jeezy fan, I'm going to give it to bottom of the map, but I'm not going to argue if you give it to I'm a dog. I'm a dog was a smash everywhere. Like, I was, I was in these clubs. I was at these homecomings. I'm a dog. I'm a dog was, was a major hit, like, in the streets, like, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad, I wouldn't be mad if niggas said I'm a dog over a uh, bottom of the map. But me as a as a as a Jeezy fan, I'm saying bottom of the map. But I wouldn't argue with if niggas wanted to get walked out that round. So what is that? That's so that? so technically that is four one right now, Jeezy or uh three three two because you gave I'm a dog. All right. So now we got Vet Pass By versus Jeezy the Snowman. I gave it the Vet Pass By. All right. So then we got Wake Up in the Sky versus Them Boys. Them Boys. This yeah, is where the shit. Out. This is where the shit get crazy, and this is where I start. This is where I started seeing niggas reaching for Gucci records. Even even him, even him. Now, like, let's break this shit down because you know he played Jeezy. Jeezy. Jeezy played. Uh, this that was the little that was the little one. He had the. Stand ovation, then he hit him with the uh bottom of the map, then he hit the uh that's when Wap was like, Man, we we still at 05. Let's play some let's play some currency. Exactly. Nigga, like like nigga, this is why we here, nigga. What the fuck is you he talking just, about? Just played I'm a dog. That was 08. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then you then you, you say that, but nigga, you play a Bruno Mars uh, a Bruno Mars song. Oh my god. What are you talking about, man? 
Yeah, man, shit was nasty. So we got that's my hood versus let's get it, let's get it. Yeah. Niggas try to say that's my hood, but no. So no. then, then we got Bo featuring Drake versus Go Crazy, Go Crazy, Go Crazy, hands down. Bricks, hands down. Bricks versus <laughs> all there. What's that? Bricks versus all there. Uh, I gave it to Bricks on that one. I, I gave it to all there. I love, uh, but that one to me was a tie. That one was a draw, a draw round. Okay. Because I can't. All there was. You know that's bank, bricks, that, that's bank bricks like a, bricks like I say bricks was bricks. just like bricks I was too much of a fucking pass by and, and I'm a dog them shits was them major shit was huge, huge I got you huge, huge. 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 like I'm not gonna argue that I'm not gonna argue that you couldn't they even they stop at the stoplight and not hear a nigga playing bricks exactly all white like I've, I've been in the club when DJ Tantrum on ninety three point what is that what are you on ninety four point three. Yeah. He's a tantrum. Ran bricks back about 10 times, 12 times. Yeah, I got it right here, too. So. I've been in the clubs when that shit was going on. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't argue it. So, overall, it would be a 6 4 score right now. Yeah. 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 All right. So, make the chat say A versus who that. I gave it the who that. Mm. I would. I, I, I say who that over make the trap say A. Okay. So then we got Steady Mobbing versus They Know. They Know? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Facts. Come on now. They Come know. Come on now. Come on now. And so I me and you, now. me and you on this Steady next Mobbing. one. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. I didn't mean cut y'all. Go no, ahead. I'm, I'm saying like, like Steady Mobbing, like that was a moment too now, but They Know was major, dog. Come on now. Oh, facts. I'm right out the gates, like. The, the old home. Let's let's give let's give the rest in peace, Shawty Low. They uh-huh. know it was a smash by itself. By itself, the remix was just better. Mm-hmm. The remix was just like, hold on now, like ZZ went into a, a different bag on that on that verse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So on this next one, me and you even disagreed on this one. I was kind of shocked. So heavy versus lose my mind. I gave it the heavy. Yeah, like heavy was not like. Heavy versus Lose My Mind? Like, Lose My Mind was a way bigger song to uh, me okay. than Heavy. Like, Heavy cool now. Like, I'm not saying Heavy a trash record, but Lose My Mind. Lose My Mind was way bigger. You think so? I feel like a lot of niggas was fucking with that Heavy. Yeah, a lot of niggas did, but I feel like Lose My Mind, like, that was that was way bigger. That was a way bigger track. Oh, I got you. So, next we got Street Nigga versus Way Too Gone. I gave it the Way Too Gone. Yeah. Way too gone is a banger, but I wouldn't be so I wouldn't be mad if niggas wanted to give street nigga that. I wouldn't be mad either. Okay. So you kill, you kill that track. So we got Fresh Out versus Air Forces. Air Forces, man. I'm picking Air Forces. Air Forces, man. <laughs> I'm picking Air Forces, man. Yeah. Come on, man. That's Pete Trap to die, man. Yes. Come on now. Uh photo shoot versus everything. I gave it the photo shoot. I'll give a photo shoot because that's when Jeezy's. I was like, hold on, Jeezy. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, he could have came with something better on that one. Uh, Wasted versus Trap Star. Trap Star, man. Trap Star, man. We're not about to do that. So, this is where niggas back to back disses came. So, we got Truth versus Get Your Mind Right. I got Get Your Mind Right. Then, then, then this is where this is where the whole energy of this shit went left. Yeah. You know what I'm he came with back to back disses after this now. So, it's like. You, it's like, all right, all right. It's, <laughs> I guess it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a tongue twister even trying to really even get into this shit, man. It's like, all right, like in reality, like the bigger song, standing. What, what was the song that he played? Jeezy played. Um, get your mind right. Get your mind get right. Your mind is right. a smash. Like, come on now. Facts. But it's like. Niggas wanna niggas wanna do this whole well yeah we we like you know this the diss record like this is the diss of all this is and all this other shit and that's cool if you wanna rock if you wanna do that like that's cool if you wanna do that but in reality man y'all know like song for song to get your mind right is over it's over this truth record man like let's be real man like like come on now <laughs> come on now so we got a. Uh... 7.45 versus Put On. Put On. Oh, yeah. Put On. Yeah. Okay. 
So then we got like tra- the energy now. Now Pete, now he did seven forty five. The energy was still like left, and you do another another diff. Mm-hmm. Man, come on now. <laughs> That's and what I'm I knew, saying. I kind of knew. I knew that the nigga was gonna do the truth right. I just didn't know when it was gonna happen. It was just like it was like, oh okay, now now we here. Like you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. just like like the, you can you could you could kind of like. You can you can see the energy had changed in, in there, like when when that truth ring came on, like. And the funny shit is, like niggas was sending me, niggas sent me the reaction video, like when uh when Twenty One Savage, cause Twenty One Savage was on his Instagram live, like watching the shit, like with all his people and shit. So like when they when they did the truth record, when he did the truth record, like everybody in there was hyped, like you know what I'm saying? You know they they from Zone Six, like rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? But even. But niggas fail to realize, because I got, like, four people sent me that shit, and I'm like, bro, did y'all watch this whole video? Because 21 Savage even saying that, that Jeezy won in this battle. So it's like, what we talking about, man? <laughs> oh, he didn't say that? I was like, bro, did y'all watch this video? This video like, 10 minutes long. I sat and watched the video, because I'm like, I'm going to see what 21 Savage say. If he was to say that Gucci's winning it, I'd have to respect that, because he from, he from there, he from around there. This man was. This man said out his mouth. Oh yeah, Jeezy, Jeezy got this shit though. <laughs> so what we talking about? When yeah, he hit, man. when he hit the truth record, I'm like, bro, this this battle almost over with. So it's like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, what we? Like, I just, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. No, I feel you. So we got Trap House versus Seen It All. So I gave it the Trap House. Uh, based off the percentages I saw in the poll, a lot of people wouldn't have seen it all, but I gave it the trap house. I, that's another one why I wouldn't I wouldn't argue with one either way. Alright. So then we got we got the four that was like post posted. So we got uh I get the bag versus thug motivation. I gave it the thug motivation, bro. Like, yeah. Alright. Yeah. So we got I might be versus Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor, man. Yeah. Alright. East Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> East Atlanta versus Jeezy. Now, I felt like oh, this. Yeah, was... Jeezy, come on now. Yeah, I'll go with the Jeezy. But some people was trying to reach for uh, East Atlanta, so. I think it what it was because even I think I had tweets. I was like, dog, Jeezy kind of ended this battle kind of wrong. But I think what it was, I'm not even gonna lie. I'll just go back to the, him playing the, the truth. The truth record kind of got everybody flustered. Bro. I was like, bro, what? Like, it's like he was reaching. He was just reaching at that point, man. I cannot believe that you know that we witnessed that on an Instagram live stream. Like, Facts. I just can't believe with that, them in the know, same like, building. Was that with them in the same building? Yeah, yeah. You know, I just can't believe that that happened like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I, at that point, like the energy for me. It was just all over the place. Like, I just didn't know what was going to happen. Like, I just did not know. Like, because even after that, like, Jeezy stood up. And, like, I was like, hold on, bro. Like, what's about to happen right now? Like, I just did not know. So, I'm not going to lie. Me, personally, like, my energy was kind of all over the place watching this shit. Because I did not know what was going to happen next. Mm, yeah, I definitely did. Especially when Jeezy got up and started talking this shit. <laughs> I was like, hold on, bro. I thought like, that was about to jump across that stage. So the last record we got is a uh, lemonade versus welcome back, but I gave it the lemonade. Uh, I got welcome back over lemonade, but I get niggas fuck with lemonade. Like lemonade was a hard record. I'm not gonna take nothing from my yeah. lemonade. Uh, so okay. overall, what, what, what was it? That was the last record. Yeah. So originally, the first twenty I gave it. The first, in my opinion, I gave it fifteen five, but based off our tally, it would have been like what four uh, thirteen seven. Jeezy. That's not bad. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. It's just certain records that Gucci got that like, you got to give it up. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the ver- What's the next verses you want to see? Uh, honestly, like I think the next verse should be like an R and B one. This one was kind of like, this one was kind of like you know too, too street. Like the energy on on the verses stage is kind of man. The boy hit two out. million in there, man. What you say? The boy hit two million on on the verses. Yeah, they on the live. I, I, I remember looking at this shit and it said one point eight, and I was like, oh, this shit about to go up. Yes, like, sir. what's going on? 
but I feel like the energy, like the energy, need to be toned down a little. They need to. I don't know. I don't know who should do another versus. Real talk, like I saw niggas talking about. I keep seeing people tweet Romeo and Bow Wow, and I'm like, I think it should be Bow Wow and Soldier Boy if they do that. Like, you can do that. Like Bow, Romeo don't got twenty songs. <laughs> like not even no, like not even trying to play that man. He don't got twenty songs. No, so I can't don't. think of like, twenty Romeo like, hits. Things need to be real. Like Ray J was in the comments saying like, "Yo, like I don't got enough songs to do a versus." Real like, nigga. Like stop asking me. Like real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like Romeo don't got twenty records. Like he don't. I feel you. I feel you. Um, me personally, I want the Mary J. Blige and Mariah Carey versus man. That's just me. That would that would be fire. Yeah, we need that. I I would definitely do that. Or you could put Mary versus whoever else. But I I think respectively, like you got to match people with they with they tears and Mary and Mariah in the same tier. So I feel like that would be epic. They might even set a record while you bullshitting. No, they would. They would. <laughs> hands down, like they really would. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. So if we get another R and B one, that'd be dope. I feel like we'll get another male R&B one, man. They bullshitting with the Drew Hill and Jodeci, man. Like, we've been Drew waiting for... That's that's the one. Who you got? Man, toss-up, man. Drew Hill, my favorite... Like, like, they both my favorite, but I favor Drew Hill a little bit more. Man, like, they won two for me as far as male R&B groups. They won in two. That really is a toss-up, though. Yeah, it is. It's a toss-up. But I, I favor Drew Hill a little bit more. But, come on, man. It's like... We need that. We need that, bro. Like, you talking about a versus? That should be lit, dog. And and in a transition over to this album music format, that should be fire. That should be yeah, fire I mean, for real. It's, 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 it's time. It's really, it really would make perfect sense. You know, Casey and JoJo ain't back on the right track. So it would make sense. 100%. <laughs> 100%, my nigga. Like, we, that shit would be. That shit would be epic, dog. Like you get them boys. Go ahead, set give up. them boys that that apple that apple stimulus package, man. Help them boys out, man. Yeah, cut the check, man. Cut the check. Tim and Swiss got to get better with their matchups anyway. So maybe that can help them get in the right direction. For real. Honestly, for real, they do. So what we you think? Of... Another... Go ahead. I'm... Go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. I'm trying to think of another producer battle since we. I don't think we had one since uh, since Manny and Scott. Man, get Kanye in there, man. I would, I mean... You know so crazy? I, Kanye can do an artist and producer battle. That's what I'm saying. Like, on some real shit, nobody's Nobody beating Kanye. Him. No, not Nobody in rap. Beating. Not in rap. Not in rap. No, not in rap. Nobody beating Kanye. Nobody's man. beating him on an artist level or a producer level because... Like, he got, he got too much of everything, yeah. bro. He got, he got too much of everything. Kanye got a feature bag, too, now. That's what I'm saying. Like, he got three lanes. Mm-hmm. He really do. Dog, dog verse. My favorite Kanye feature verse is uh, uh, you wouldn't get far on the game. He murdered just that. for just for what he was talking about on that shit, bro. He was killing that bitch. Then his he guest verse that. on uh, his feature verse on Dilated Peoples, that that song, and on uh, Selfish with uh, Slum Selfish? Village. That's a classic verse. Classic verse. It is classic. That's a classic verse now. Yeah. Yes, Come sir. <laughs> he shit, killed that shit now. So yeah, ain't Jesus nobody fucking peace. with that nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with that nigga, dog. Nobody fucking with Jesus that. Jesus peace. I got family in high places like Jesus, Jesus niece. Peace. Can I Come please on, say my peace? <laughs> if I'm fresh to death, y'all deceased. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, ain't nobody calling out Kanye. Come on, man. So I switch my girls around like three L dub. Right, that's that's probably why Kanye probably loses my. He too bored. He really is too bored, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's too bored with the world like he really is bro he really is too bored bro the thing is the thing is like people talking about Hove, but it's like he produced some of Hove biggest fucking songs like he can really play a whole yeah. song against Hove. yeah that's what i'm saying like oh you remember when i did this right <laughs> he can play whole songs against yeah. Hove. the dynasty album blueprint like Even the, the two on, uh, the features first, what was the first um one on his first album, when Jay Z oh never let me down, never let me down. That, that shit. Diamonds, diamonds, read. Is a classic. Come on, man. Like we can even talking yeah. about like 
Um, hey, fuck you, Kanye, for making me do this. Yeah. yeah. Last call. Like, bro, yeah. listen. Like, it's gonna get nasty for anybody who go up against Wayne Ye. Do, um, battle somebody. Yeah, I want to see Wayne. It just be Wayne and Drake. I do. I do Wayne and Hove. To be honest with you. Yeah. Them three is all in the same class, bro. Like, but I don't think nobody's beating Ye. Like all four of them is in Kanye. all four of them is in the same class. Like if you want to do Drake, Wayne, Hov. Y'all know what the yeah. music shit, Kanye, my man's, but nobody's beating Kanye, man. Nah, nobody's nobody's beating Kanye. beating that man. Nobody's, nobody's beating him. <laughs> Leave Kanye alone. <laughs> yeah. I would do. I would. I would like to see Wayne go up against Hov though, or Drake. Gotta be good. Drake now, will we lose. We talk about views. We talk about views. Them shit might hit three, three or four million, bro. If Drake and Kanye do it versus that shit is breaking, just off the strength that people want to be petty and want to see some extra shit go down. That's breaking records. That's breaking records. I mean, Drake get, Drake would lose the A, but I, I think it'll be uh, just for the songs. Both of them got good songs, so I think it'll be good. But he'll still lose though, because he don't like, gotta he don't gotta through the through the wire. He don't got. A last call. He don't gotta never let me down. He don't got a good morning. He don't got a like. What's another heartfelt Kanye song like? Hey mama, he got great yeah. songs. We talk about his mama, but they're not on that level. Like yeah, no, uh, uh-uh. uh. So it just be good fucking music at the end of the day. It's just good music. Kanye makes good fucking music. In the R&B category. Shit, he could do a B side. He could do a B side battle by himself if he wanted to. Mm-hmm. Uh, he give a lot of people a run. Facts. He will give them a run, but I just don't see Put him it. up against your GOAT in the verses and see how he do. <laughs> Ain't Nas your GOAT? Yeah, that's a whole different <laughs> I'm just saying, for the shits. Because I'm hitting you up immediately. I'm hitting you up immediately. I'm hitting you up immediately. Like, hey, you know your band's about to get smoked, right? Remember that. Cause, y'all, because y'all listen to a different style of music, Nas from a different time, bro. I feel you. Drake wouldn't, see wouldn't even be able to come out during Nas era. No one knows about that. Shit. You y'all keep think, saying y'all keep saying that, but why? But I'm why? Because so, I'm so positive. Because they wasn't letting none of that soft shit in, nigga. How? That shit wasn't happening back then. He would be in the Joe to see in case the JoJo and all of that shit category. Back even then. as a rapper? Yes, even as a rapper, my job, jo- my uh, dog. Because that you could go to. As far as like rapping, dog, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. I feel I, like I don't think I don't think that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few people that. Who would you? Who, do you? Do you think? Give him a run for his money because Nas isn't more commercial like. That. No, no, I'm saying that. I think that would be a shitty battle. I'm just saying, yeah, just that's, that's, just for the back and forth between me and you. But who would you put Nas up against though? Does he got 20 hits that he could bring? Definitely. You talking to my era, so if you thinking of somebody like Nas, like who would you put him up against? I don't know. I put him, but see, I would have to face him against somebody like Buster or something like that. You couldn't put him up against no. Difference. You ain't put him against Hov. No, because Hov had a more commercial, like yeah, more successful commercial. Yeah. No, Hov gonna smoke. But when it came to like, it's just an era thing, bro. It's an era thing, time thing. You say Buster? Nas and, Certain you say niggas Nas would never Buster? fit in a time era. Like I couldn't. Put, you call him, You say Nas and Buster? Yeah, I would have to put him with somebody, just somebody in that category. Yeah, because but Buster got to ask it. Like when we was coming up, that's who we would listen. Like leaders of the new school shit, like that was my. No, I I, I feel I, no, I I I respect the pick. I'm just saying, I just I just I don't know. I don't know, man. That would be a good battle. I'll that would be that. a good battle. I mean, it's just that Nas is it's a different style. You would really want to put them with like Mob Deep and shit like that. But they did too much songs together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did way yeah. too much together. Like Wu Tang, like he did a lot of shit with Wu Tang too. Like this was a different. Yeah, he, got, he, he was. A he nigga was like Drake would horse. not be able to mix him with Wu Tang. Now he would, because they would, they they approve of him and his music, and people have accepted him. Even I have accepted Drake. Mm-hmm. He makes great music. But what I'm saying is, for that era when we was coming up, if mm-hmm. a nigga was out here like Drake. You talk about beyond clown, bro. Them boy be robbing that nigga every week, extorting his ass. This shit was going on with them. Remember Wu Tang and the boys? Went, I, I don't need to get into those stories. No, no. The point no. is, that shit wasn't going on back then. We're in a different era now. So I yes, feel like it would have broke Drake a barrier, to be take, honest with you. Drake will take majority of people because we're in a different era. And mm-hmm. he's more relevant now. This is his era. He's still pertinent in his era. Mm-hmm. I just don't think he would survive in that 88 to 97 spectrum whatsoever. I just don't. 
he would be in the R and B category with like Casey and JoJo or something like that. He wouldn't be in R. I don't know, man, because even when I think about even with Biggie, even when I think about with Biggie, right? Like what what made him become a bigger star was the fact like with Diddy sampling these old records. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like these R&B records. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And being at the fact that Biggie was rapping over these shit, I'm not comparing Drake and Biggie saying they're the same, but I feel like the shit would have been, it would have been, it would have broken a barrier. You see what I'm saying? Like Biggie yeah, wasn't singing as much as Drake. I'm just saying it's a possibility that he could have did that because Diddy was big about him getting out the shell of just the gritty street dude. I'm like, hey man, get on some of these R&B samples and like, you know, you know, you can still do your thing. Just... I'm lace this shit and you get in get in the booth and you act and that's what Biggie did. He would get on these R and B records and he would kill that shit. So I just feel like it would just been a crossover type thing. And there's some truth that there. was that was just a perfect combination to put him over that shit though. Yeah. It was. It was. But that'd be interesting to see though, Nas and Buster. That'd be crazy. I think T.I. and Yo Gotti would probably be one that, since we didn't get the T.I. and Jeezy or T.I. And, if Ross was to come back, I would love to see Ross second 20 versus Tips first twenty. I think Tip would get him, just at the fact that Ross already gave us his first fresh twenty. But I would be interested to see Ross come back out and do another twenty versus Ti. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he said he said he, he said he's still down to do another twenty. Hell yeah! I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. So yeah, man, we had a good week, man. Good week. I was only pissed that them niggas didn't come out until 8.50, though. Like, bruh, it's, it's a Thursday night, man. It's a Thursday. Y'all was, was going to do that? Was getting, uh, they was getting COVID testing in the parking lot from what, from what I saw. Because uh, I follow uh, Gucci artist Pooh Shiesty, and them niggas was getting COVID tests when they pulled up in Magic City. That's what was taking so long. Oh, man. They should have did that shit at 7.45. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> All right, come on, man. Um, So what you think about this free agency shit, man? Let's get into this shit, man. It's a lot going on. It's a lot. It's a lot of moves. More moves than I thought was going to go on too. First, how you feel about the draft? I liked our pick, man. I liked our pick. Shout out to Patrick Williams, great defensive guy. Seemed like he can hit hit some mid range. His shot, I think, will get better over time. But we need a defense, of course. So, you know, I I'm fucking with. I thought I was going to get Denny, man. I thought I was going. We was going to get Denny too. You know, I wanted him or Lamelo, but I'm not mad at the pick at all, man. After you know, evaluating him and looking at his. I didn't even know he was projected that high. He was projected one through seven. I didn't even know that he was slated that high. But shout out to him, man. I mean, it's something that we definitely needed. I like the fact that we kept our core together. We didn't trade off no pieces. Lori, Wendell, or Levine. Niggas been on my neck about Levine all year. And But I think with us revamping the front office with, you know, AK, and then bringing in uh, Mark Eversley, you know, black GM, and then Billy Donovan. We got Mo Cheeks as an assistant coach, so I'm really liking what we're doing with the foundation, and I think it'll trickle down to the players. Um, as far as Anthony Edwards, I think was the right pick. Uh, I definitely think um, Wiseman was the right pick. Um, Lamelo Ball going to Charlotte would definitely give them. Uh, what's the word I'm looking? At? Uh, Star He's going to sell tickets. He's going to sell tickets, man. Yeah, they got a star. They yeah, they got a star now. Star. So, you know, they just got Gordon Hayward, too. So, <laughs> hey, man, the the Hornets can, if Mike can, like, put the shit together, man, it could be something special. What you think? Uh, as far as the Charlotte situation, um, I, I, I'm surprised Gordon got another $100 million contract. Like, I'm not hating on him, but it's like, you know. Uh, what, what was the terms? Like, four years? Yeah, four years, one twenty, and then it's like I think I read somewhere where they was saying like a lot of that money is guaranteed too. So you know, shout out to him, man. Like I, you know, uh, my only thing is we didn't get nothing for him at all. Like <laughs> we were supposed to. I thought it was I'm, supposed to be a sign and trade type shit. They were still they they're saying that that's still being worked out. Oh, um, okay. I'm not sure, but you know, from 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 us potentially having Miles Turner. And another piece, mm. but Danny Ainge was doing too much. Like he wanted to get Miles and Victor. That's that wasn't going to happen, man. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like we should have just took Miles and another piece from from the from, from the Pacers and been cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I just don't understand how. And, and Gordon wanted to go to Indiana. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, that's that's two. That was two major contracts that we had with Kyrie, Kyrie and. Uh, Kyrie and Gordon, and we ain't getting nothing back from either one. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know. Danny, I'm not saying Danny, that don't erase nothing that Danny's done in the past, but, you know, we, this is a, a what you do in now league. So it's like, you gotta, you gotta really look at those two occurrences, man. Like, you know, Miles Turner, we just signed Tristan Thompson, and that's that's good on the boards and, and rump protection. Good on but, boards, yeah. Because y'all lost uh, uh, Wanamaker to the yeah, Warriors, I think, right? And we lost Cantor. So it's like, we signed Aaron Neesmith, which is going to be good with the shooting, because he say off top he want to make Jalen and Jalen and Jason job way easier. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting him. You know, yeah, he a rookie, but I'm, ex- you know, with him talking like that, he's a good. He was one of the best shooters in the class. So it's like, you know, I'm thankful that we got him and we 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 got Tristan. But I would have rather, I would have rather got Miles Turner. He's younger. He do just he do everything that Tristan do and score. So I would have rather had him as a piece going forward. But I'm not. I'm still cool. I got you. So, what you think about these other free agency moves? Look like the Clippers in shambles, man. But they just got surge. But you got Trez going That's, to the Lakers. You got Schroeder going to the Lakers. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, shit, go look, look like it's about to get ugly for the Clippers, man. Cause they ain't the losing. Lakers, the, it the looked Lakers like the lost, Lakers ain't ain't lose nothing. Like they lost Rondo yeah, and Dwight. They, 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 they lost Dwight. They lost Avery Bradley. He just out the heat, but it's like they, they don't insert, even matter. Yeah, you insert Schroeder and Trez. You you basically like picked up. Will you let go? Yeah, like, I just thought, no, they, they heard off that trash shit, though, bro. Yeah, they heard. You see what Pat Bev said, right? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to take a shot at your team, but they definitely about to treat him like them 08 Celtic Street Ray Allen, bro. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. They are. They, are. No, they, they about are. to treat that man all type nasty. <laughs> and, and and even even then, I say they need to figure that shit out, man. They need to, like, the. Like the Celtics, them boy need to figure that shit out, man. Because originally, that beef was just between Rondo and Ray, mm-hmm. and it's like every all the, you know, KG and Rondo, they like big brother, little brother. So of mm-hmm. course he gonna step in there, and it's just it just got more petty as more niggas start chiming in. But you know, y'all they need to figure that shit out. Like y'all, y'all in y'all forties, Rondo still playing, but you know, it's like you know, niggas old man, figure that shit out, bro. Yeah, I like, feel you. I feel you. So. It looked like the Lakers repeating, man. That shit was crazy with the White because the White had tweeted some shit like he was coming back, but this yeah. nigga signed with the fucking Sixers. Well, he well, this is what I feel well, what like the fuck he, happened with that? Uh, this is what I feel happened. The White off top, he wanted a bigger role. He wanted more minutes. So what I feel like what happened is they, he found out that they had a potential. They had Trez on the on the table, and he was like, "Well, shit, I know y'all about to pick Trez over me." So let me go ahead and get my payday. Like it's simple. He know what time it is. He, he if they got Trez, he was coming off the bench again. So you know he want he want to start somewhere or have a, a bigger role. He know he know Joel Joel not gonna play a whole a whole game the whole season. So he got a, he got more he got more potential to play. Mm-hmm. That shit is crazy, man. That shit is crazy. Um, I see y'all got Jeff Teague. Rondo went to the Hawks. Um, somebody then Bo then Bog didn't go to the Hawks. Or they still Who in got t- Jeff Teague? Y'all got Jeff Teague. The, the Celtics got Jeff Teague. Yeah, y'all got him. Oh, I'm, that's cool with me. That's cool with me. I'm rocking with that. Matter of fact, I got the, I, I got the shit right here. So y'all signed up to a one year deal. Um, Paul Millsap returned to Denver. Yeah, cause the we, Pistons, was the Pistons about, just loaded up on all these fucking forwards. Look like, hey man, free free Blake and free D Rose. They do not deserve that. Poor Seku too. Uh, DJ Augustine signed three years with the Bucks. Bobby Porter signed two year with the Bucks. Um, Justin Holiday returned to the Pacers. Uh, Trevor Ariza, they got a in a three team deal. Um, what is the one? Plumley went to Detroit. Plumley went to Detroit, and Jamie Grant went to Detroit. I see uh, Christian Wood signed with the Rockets too. I did see that. Oh, Donovan Mitchell signed a a, a one ninety five extension with the Jazz. Five years, one hundred ninety five M. That's a max. Yeah. How and you feel about the Bucks? Bogdan, Bogdan, well, the Hawks offered Bogdan an offer sheet. I think he's a restricted free agent, so the Kings will have to match his 
four years, seventy two million. Hey man, Hawks look like they making some moves, man. No, they did. They they did that quick too. They got Rondo. They got somebody else too. I can't think of. But that's gonna be good they got, for Trey Young. They got rid of Deadman, which is cool because they gonna let the young niggas yeah. run the center position. Yeah, you're right. John Wall wants to trade out of Washington. Yeah. What you think about that, man? Um, I mean. Uh, cause with Rondo, John Wall ain't playing almost two years, man. So it's like it seemed like that know, for real, bro. It's like you know he he kind of he kind of in a weird spot because it's like niggas don't know how you look, like you know, on the court. Mm-hmm. And it's like you know I rock with John Wall, but it's like you know I feel like he should have he should have just he should have started the season off with the Wizards to kind of mm-hmm. show what he can do. And yeah, he might want to leave, but it's like I mean, you can re- you probably could have re- requested a trade mid season. I don't, I'm not sure how how situation look, but I'm just, I think it's going to be kind of hard to convince a team, you know, what what you know with these with these young button like pieces to to go back in and you know really invest in you know a, a player coming off an Achilles who we ain't seen in almost two years. Like you know what I'm saying, like. Mm-hmm. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> like he not like he, it's, it's different. It's different than saying KD and, and John Wall. You know what I'm trying to say? Like with KD, you know you still getting that scoring monster. Facts. You know? Like we don't know what John Wall will look like coming off of, uh, off an Achilles when his majority of his his points come from driving. Yeah. He play he he play in the air. So it's like you know I I did see him. Um, he was on uh. He was on Gilbert Arena's podcast, and he was talking. Him and Gilbert was they had a real good. He had a real good interview on Gilbert podcast. He was talking about how he was, you know, really just getting back to the bases within his game. Like he was really working on his jump shot, and Gilbert was, you know, speaking highly on that because he was working out with uh, Gilbert. And he was saying how you know John Wall looked really comfortable shooting and whatnot, and it's like, you know, he was kind of he was. Cause I watched I watched a lot of Wizards play before John Wall went out, and I can really say he was getting kind of comfortable with the jumper. But it's like, let's just go back to where we at right now. It's like you know, it's gonna be kind of hard to get any any uh some interest from from anybody like who we ain't seen you play in a while. That's all I'm at with John Wall. Yeah, I feel like they gotta clean and blow that whole shit up too. Like the Beal and Wall shit is not gonna. Y'all, y'all future has already passed in terms of trying to win together with that. So just go ahead and clean that shit up. Anything anything else is going to stop Rui and Denny yeah, from Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and clean it up. Get both of them out of there, wherever they want to go at, and just see what the see what happens. Just like with Harden and Russ, like, same situation. Like, clean the shit up. Clean it up. Just clean it up. Get them both out of there. And, you know, but I still think we'll see some more moves to come. I did see the Rockets are not really rushed to trade Russell Westbrook and Harden, so we'll see. They might. The season start on the twenty second of December, so if they both want the roster, hey, so be it. They won't win we got, shit. We're gonna have uh, we have cats coming up soon, shit. So yeah, I mean, I think PJ Tucker on the way out. All servers is on his way out. Rob Cub got traded for Trev, so I mean, hey, it is what it is at this point, but. That free agency was, well, it was a lot of moving around, but Detroit just loaded up on a lot of shit. They seem like they've been having a real good free agency, dog. So, as far as forward, like, they should have no problems on the defensive end. <laughs> they, gave, they, they gave Germani Grant 60 M's. Yeah, and they gave Mesa Plumlee a deal, too. And those were two key pieces for Denver. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I fuck with it. <laughs> I fuck with it. I definitely fuck with it. So, we'll, we'll definitely see what's to come with that. Uh, LaMelo Ball being in Charlotte, I think it'd be good for the city you know they never really had a franchise marquee guy like that like with that much like uh you know press coming with him and yeah, shit like that a big so like a that. big name yeah. yeah a big name like that so that's good for jordan and them to see you know when if hopefully if corona gets cleaned up i would love to see them play when the bulls come to town so yeah that that's what i'm saying like that was even with signing Gordon, like that, that's a dice roll signing Gordon, but it's still a good sign because it's like oh tickets, tickets going to be going off the shelves now with Lamelo in town. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You still, you still got to put somebody who can shoot next to next to Lamelo. So it's mm-hmm. like I get it. You know what I'm saying. 
So, you know. And, you know, for what it's worth, they really not a bad, like, if you look at them on paper, like, that starting five don't look bad. No, like, don't. You know what I'm they don't. Like, so, you know, they got a, they got a, they got a ceiling. I wouldn't say it's a high or a low ceiling, but they got one. Yeah, for sure. We'll definitely see. So y'all boys, uh, your Patriots playing right now, right? Yeah, we playing the, the Texans right now. Y'all boys been cleaning up the last couple weeks, man. Y'all been looking good. Yeah, I'm calling. I'm thinking. I'm saying that this is this is the turnaround game for us, man. We're going, we win this, we be five and five, and you know we're gonna we're gonna get this shit together. Like you know what I'm saying? They we they already had us like we were sixteenth as far as like you know schedule difficulty going forward. So. In my opinion, it's no, it's no excuse for us to be fucking up, like, going forward. Like, you know, the odds are not favor. I feel you. <laughs> I definitely feel you, so. As far as my Panthers, man, we hit the skid, but I still think we could finish at least 9-7, man. That's That's so, possible. Yeah, I think we, I definitely we feel like we could finish 9-7. Uh, we got some weak teams coming up, so <laughs> we playing Detroit right now, so. You know, Seth, your Cowboys, man, I know y'all on Suicide Watch, so. Man, that season over. <laughs> Bring up the Cowboys, baby. Y'all had too much going on at the quarterback position, man. Yeah, man. So we got lack of anything going on at the quarterback position. We was down to what third and fourth string, bro. Shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know who the fuck that was. Y'all was playing against the Eagles. That motherfucking name. I don't know who that was. Yeah, I don't know that. Yeah, man. So we got anything else before we get up out of here, man? Or that's about it. Nah, I'm good, man. Y'all feel as good? Yeah, man. I'm good, man. Shout out to the listeners, you know, staying in tune with us through all this shit, man. You know, we're going to back, get back to being consistent and shit like that. But, you know, appreciate y'all holding us the down. The year of the COVID. Yeah, man. Corona yeah, getting up on niggas. This, this, been a, this, been, this, is, this is one for the books, man. <laughs> yeah, this man, is so. one for the books, for sure. Yeah, man, so... Like I say, man, shout out to y'all. Always love. Shout out to everybody doing anything in the city, too. Always. Oh, for sure. So, you know, like we say every week and, and you know, every week going forward, man, if you do anything on this show that gets you in your feelings, always remember. We're just some messages. We out.